You know, a lot of people go to church religiously. Every Sunday they are in there, they're praising and screaming and hollering some part of the floor or whatever. And then come Monday, they go to work, something happens or someone says something to them that makes them upset, makes them angry. Um, they go out and do something crazy. They'll slap somebody or slash someone's tire or break someone's window or whatever. And I'm just taking that to the extreme. Or they can't seem to get the income that they want, um, a job that they want, a new vehicle because the one they have has a lot of issues. And they begin to doubt their religion. They doubt themselves. You know, I can't get this. I can't get that. It's that paradigm again. Hello, I'm Samoto Yamosa, and I'm teaching you about the Mind Mentor Program. Okay? I teach people how to use their subconscious mind to obtain the things that they want. Here's one good example. If you keep telling yourself that you're sick, you don't feel well, you're not going to be able to make it throughout the day, then your subconscious mind is going to find everything possible to bring that into uh, fruition. You're going to start feeling down and sluggish, no energy, and you will be sick because you have convinced yourself that you are not feeling well. So, back to the church situation. There's that paradigm that tells you, um, there's some things that people say, it's just, it's, just, it's just, if you just think about it, it doesn't make sense, okay? And this is why a lot of churches fail, a lot of people don't get what they um, want out of a church. Um, you know, a lot of pastors and preachers say, you know, you serve a jealous God. And I'm just trying to figure out a being that's more powerful than I am, who can do extraordinary things, who created this earth, who can do things beyond belief, why in the world would God be envy of me? Okay, that's that paradigm again. That pastor, that preacher, you have been told by your elders or by people before you, you've heard it on TV, you heard it on audio tapes or whatever, that you know, we serve a jealous God. And then in the same breath, you hear him say, we serve an awesome God. Oh, really? Which is it? If God is very powerful, he can do all these unique things, he is not jealous of us. Stop believing that. He is an awesome God. And here's another reason why you can't have the things that you want. Because when you accept God in your life, when you accept him into your heart, it means you brought him in. You married up. Now you are together as one. So, there's no longer two anymore. Just like when you get married to someone, there's no longer two. You become one. One unit. So, if you accept God into your life, if he's in your heart, if he lives in you, then why are you struggling? Why are you having all these problems? If you truly believe God is in you, He is in you, He lives in you, speak like Him, think like Him, act like Him, and do the things that He can do. You have to believe that you have the power to manifest anything you want to happen in your life. Operate like the God that's in you. Believe it, speak it into existence. It don't have to already be here. Believe it's here. Believe you're healed. Believe you have that new job. Believe you have the income that you need. Believe you have that business you are trying to get started. Act like you know him because he lives in you. He's as close as he'll ever be if he's in you. So if God is in you, then you are operating like God. You can do the things that he can do. Stop getting on your knees praying, oh God, please help me this and that and, and help me get out of this problem. So like, no, he lives in you. So when you get down your knees, thank you for fixing this. Thank you for giving me that. When you pray, um, when you bless your food, you don't have to say, please bless this food and cleanse it of all impurities. No, you put your hands over that food and you speak like the God that's in you. This food is blessed. It is cleansed of all impurities. Those tonight who wish to have food, now have food. Speak it into existence. If you cut yourself, this wound is healed. It is healing as I speak. You have to believe it. You 
are the God that operates in you. If you know him, if he's in you, start acting like the God that's in you and things will manifest in your life. Oh, my God.